क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सम फ्यू एग्जांपल्स रिलेटेड टू द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एडिशन पॉलीमर्स एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सम कंडेंसेशन पॉलीमर्स सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्यू सो फ्रेंड्स नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सर्टेन कंडेंसेशन पॉलीमर्स प्रिपरेशन एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज नायलॉन 66 सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज हाउ वी कैन प्रिपेयर नायलॉन 66 सो फॉर दैट we have to use certain monomers and the monomers that is what we are using is basically two different kind of monomers and out of which one of them is basically known as hexamethylene diamine and for that it has a structure that is nh2 ch2 and this is what it will basically six methylene group it will be attached to one nh2 and the other carbon atom it will be attached to nh2 so therefore this is nothing known as that is hexamethylene diamine and it will be reacted with that of adipic acid and adipic acid is nothing but h o o c you are basically the methylene groups that will be ch2 four times and here it is c o o h so whenever that is hexamethylene diamine and the adipic acid they will be reacted with each other and now let me that is introduce this n moles suppose if we are using n moles of hexamethylene diamine and n moles of that is adipic acid and suppose if the both are of equal proportion so in this case we see the product that is what we could get we could get a salt and that salt is basically known as nylon salt so the formula for that salt is i would write it over here as nh3 which will acquire a positive charge on it and then it would be nothing but ch2 six times and here it will be nh3 which will acquire a positive charge and then that is o o c which will acquire a minus that is negative charge on it and this one will be ch2 four times and c o o minus so therefore this is a salt that is what we have got and the name of this salt is nylon salt we could call it as nylon salt so this is the nylon salt that is what we have got but this is not the final product this is not nylon 66 obviously this is what i am going to talk about a condensation polymer and that is what a small molecule it should be eliminated from this product and this is what it happens suppose if on further process suppose if we are if we are eliminating certain kind of molecules and those water molecules is what it would be eliminated that is among this basically h2 and among this that is one oxygen atom it will be eliminated and here also that is one of that is two hydrogen atoms as well as one oxygen atom it will be eliminated and that is what we could get a repeating unit and the structure of the repeating unit is as follows so therefore the structure of the repeating unit is that is what we could get is n h that is ch2 six times then it would be nothing but n h then it would be c double bond o then it would be ch2 four times and this one would be c double bond o so this is the repeating unit that is what we could get but if you observe then this is an amide linkage that is what we have got over here and this repeating unit it will go on and this kind of condensation reaction it will take space and that is what we could get a polymer and that has a structure of that is i would write it over here as n h ch2 six times this is nh which will attach with this carbonyl group and the rest of the thing is ch2 four times and this is c double bond o so therefore this is what we have got and the name of this is nylon 66 the name nylon 66 gives us an understanding that is this is a six carbon atom from a particular monomer and this is other six carbon atom that is one plus four plus one it becomes six so therefore the name is nylon 66 so therefore this is the preparation of nylon 66 and now let us move on to the next one the next is preparation of nylon 6 and nylon 6 is prepared from the monomer that is known as epsilon caprolactam and for that we have a structure that is c double bond o that is nh so it consists of six carbon atoms so this is one of the carbon atom and talk about the next of the thing that is this is ch2 even this will be ch2 over here ch2 there also there will be ch2 and ultimately here i am mentioning ch2 so this is nothing known as epsilon caprolactam And suppose if this undergoes through polymerization process, 
and that also that is at a temperature that is 533 kelvin and that also in presence of that is nitrogen so in this case basically this bond as you could see over here that is between carbon and nitrogen it will break and that is the reason that the product that we could get we could get a repeating unit but now let me discuss about the main product the main product that is what we could get is c double bond o while this one that is one two three four five five methylene groups that is ch2 five times and this is that is nh this is what we could get and this is nothing but that is if we use n moles of absolute capital atom then this is the polymer that is what we could get and the name of this is nylon 6 the reason behind the name nylon 6 because it consists of six carbon atoms and that's it so this is what i want to discuss about the second preparation that is nylon 6 and obviously it is nothing but a fiber and now let me discuss about the next one the next is preparation of perylene or we could also call it as necron which is nothing but a polyester so in this case the monomer that we have to use is basically we are using ethylene glycol that is nothing but h o ch2 single bond ch2 OH. so this is ethylene glycol and, and along with that we have to use another monomer and in that case basically we are using basically dmt that is also known as dimethyl terephthalate so in that case we could write the structure as ch3 o c double bond o benzene ring it would be here and this is c double bond o o ch3 that is dmt which is also known as dimethyl terephthalate and suppose if the reaction goes on and obviously we understand that is that will be a repeating unit and this is an example of a condensation polymer so in this case we see this oh along with that of this ch3 it will be removed in the form of that is ch3 oh and here also this is the oh and this will move along with that of this ch3 that is in the form of ch3 oh and this is what we could get a repeating unit and the repeating unit is nothing but it will be consisting of ch2 ch2 which will have a bond with that of that is this C double bond O having a benzene ring and this is nothing but C double bond o, o so this is the repeating unit that is what we could get and that is how basically the main polymer which is also known as erylene or acron so this is what I was talking about so that's it so this are the few examples related to the condensation polymer and uh, that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much